What's up, you sexy beast, you guys? How you doing? It's the Magician Hotel here doing another reading for you. I love you. How you doing? Welcome. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. I've already pre up and blessed four piles. We're talking about what you need to know right now. <laughs> I do so many different readings. I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes, but we're doing what you need to know. I've already pre up and blessed four piles. Allow me to pick my piles. Did I mention I love you guys? Oh, guys. Um, each one of my piles has extra cards, so it's a bit rough. It's a shit talker, as I like to say. So please don't shoot the messenger. I come in peace. Come in peace, all that good stuff. First pile is going to be the star, right? The star Anise is what I meant to say. Say hello. Say, yeah, I'm a star. You you said it right. <laughs> Second pile is going to be a cinnamon stick, but we're sexy, though, is what I'm hearing with the cinnamon stick. They can be a star, but I'm sexy, and I know it. Okay. Uh, third pile is going to be this Bailey. Say, bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. <laughs> Last but not least, it's going to be these two little amigos right here. Not three, but two. Okay, so say hello. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, that's all I got for you. Okay, so now we're only one amigo. We're only one. We're not two anymore. We're one. All right, guys. Those are your piles. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to give you some time stamps below. A chance for you to pick your pies. Error, error, error. I'm gonna do some some elevator music for you to pick your piles, please. Peace, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. Love you. Let's keep it going. What's up, Sarnies? Welcome to your reading. Let's talk about your what do you need to know right now. I don't know what that's all about, but I feel like that's a channel message. Great Spirit, what's going on with Pile 1 season? Thank ya. You guys got extra cars. I feel like everybody got extra cars, so please don't shoot the messenger, please, and thank ya. You might want to go to Pile 2 because we have two duplicates, is what I'm reading and feeling. Let's start us off, Great Spirit, what's going on with Pile 1? Empress out here, a pride. Somebody sees you looking good. I mean, flashy. Somebody hears you speak as well because I see these creatures around her head, but I hear voices. <laughs> Um, but somebody views how you look and what you sound like, and they like what they see, and they like what they hear. It's what I'm getting with this Empress out here upright. I read uprights, reversals, I count my cards, and I take notes of the first card and the last card. This is a great start to your reading. They like what they see. Let's go with my second card. What's going on here? Ooh, Queen of Cups out here. You have upgraded. My Empress embodies all the queens. They remember you as leading with your heart. Because that's what my Queen of Cups is known to do. Lead with their heart. Be supportive. And be nurturing. They see that you always led with your heart. They see you have evolved into the Empress. Because like I said before, the Empress embodies the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. All them hoes, okay? So they see you leveled up is what I'm hearing. And they see that you're still good-hearted. What do they expect is what I'm hearing. <laughs> What else we got, Great Spirit? Cherry card in reverse. Now, when it comes to them, they were a bit stubborn. Um, this chariot is all about success and victory, and they deterred from you or they walked away from you, who I'm talking about with this cherry card in reverse. This chariot comes with a lot of control because you have to wonder how he's treating these animals in order to get a victory. So I feel like we're talking about an individual that didn't treat you right. And they see you have a victory, but they don't have a victory themselves. And we're not here to gloat. We're not here to say, aha. But they're comparing is what I'm getting here with this black and white out here. All right. So somebody is viewing you as a success story. While meanwhile, they're not really doing too well. They're stuck in a ditch. What else we got? We got inspiration up their ass. Because this Knight of Wands is six feet in the air. I feel like they want to come towards you or they want to approach you right now. Um, because it's a lot of transformation. It's a lot of motion going on in your reading. They want to approach you, but they don't feel on your level. We should have a king out here, but here they are coming out as a knight. So what I'm getting is they really want to approach you and see how you're doing. And I see another location. They want to go someplace with you because my knight of wands is known to go places. Okay, so I see a visit out here or you guys going some other place. What else you got? We have the five of swords out here. This is all about enemies out here. But I just heard frenemies. I feel like they are just now remembering or realizing who's really a friend and who's really an enemy, which is why we have frenemies out here. I feel like they probably pushed you aside because they were superficial or shallow and they realized that they're 
their friends weren't real friends. They were real enemies. And now they want to separate themselves. This Five of Swords is all about doing things behind people's back. So I feel like karma has met them. Karma has made them realize that, you know, the truth is out there. They knew it. But they decided to stay amongst the snakes. They decided to stay amongst the enemies. What else you got? You got the three of swords out here in verse. Now, this is good. I feel like you guys cried over this person, or you guys were emotional, or this person afflicted your heart space somehow, some way. But you guys healed from this person. I feel like this person is now living in their own karma, or they're living in their own sin, or they're living in their own what's the word I'm looking for? They're just living in their own misery because they deterred from you. They went looking for a prize, but all they were met with was heartache. You know, they thought they were the, the prize out here. And now they want to heal the situation is what I'm getting here with the three of swords being in reverse. They want to, you know, not be so prideful, not think about, you know, themselves so much and their victory. Because I feel like they left you behind with the chariot card in reverse. And what they really left behind was a real one, an A1. You know what I mean? So now they want to heal the situation. What else we got? Two of Swords out here. They realize a lot of things. My Two of Swords is all about being closed off, you know, being a stalemate, being bitter. So I feel like they're fully aware of their actions now. And Spirit is showing me the Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Five of Swords upright and reversal. They're realizing who's the enemy and who wasn't the enemy. With the Two of Swords out here in reverse and the Three of Swords out here in reverse, they realize it. Now they want to heal the situation. Okay? All because their, their intuition was all. Because I like channeling intuition with my Two of Swords in reverse because you're fully aware your antennas are up. You're not being closed off anymore. Ending this reading with... The hangman in reverse. Now, this is more consequence out here. Being as though they ventured off and thought they were the prize, now they're stressing out and stuck in their own misery is what I'm getting with the hangman in reverse. The hangman in reverse is a person that stresses out because they're in a, in a stuck position. They haven't gotten anywhere is what I'm getting with the chariot in reverse and the hangman being in reverse. They look at you and they say, oh my goodness, he or she has evolved so much. He or she is looking good. So, and then they look at themselves like, damn, what have I done? And like I said, it's not, I'm not here to gloat. That's not what I do. They just have to recognize and become enlightened to their ways and why life has treated them the way they have treated them. I see a lot of shallowness with this hangman out here. He stoops really low. So I see lots of shallowness out here. So you guys just have to equate a lot of things. Well, they do. And I feel like they, they realize that now through their misery and through their consequence. Let's get closing remarks, please. They want to take control. And I feel like they had to take control of the snakes that they surrounded themselves with. Like to have a snake out here with the four of pentacles out here and their enemies, they recognize who is who. Great Spirit, can we get closing remarks, please? And thank you. Spirit just told me not to use that deck. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. That's why Spirit doesn't want me to use that deck because the, uh, Spirit wants me to go here. They want to reconcile. They want to reconnect. And pronto with the Three of Wands out here because the Three of Wands are all about seizing the opportunity. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit. And with those threes out here, Spirit is telling me they made it a third-party situation. They needed to listen to other people. They needed to listen to opinions. You know, they friend-zoned you. I feel like the truth is out here and they need to speak the truth. That's why this Ace of Swords out here, truth, clarity, intuition. They know what is what nowadays because we had the Two of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Swords out here upright. So they know what's up. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, can we get closer remarks, please? And thank you. Two cards for my Two of Swords. I like signing off with my duplicates. And I think I have another duplicate. I have the Hangman with duplicates. So let's start off with the two of swords. They're fully aware of something. Let's see what they're aware of. Nine of pentacles. This is y'all energy out here. Out, out here minding your business. Out here looking lavish. Looking luxurious. Looking like you got it going on. That's what I'm getting with the nine of pentacles out here. Not concerned about anybody else. Just doing you. 
Knight of Pentacles out here, and I had the Ten of Pentacles out here. They want to approach you, and they've been slow moving. My Knight of Pentacles is the most slow moving Knight of all the Knights out here. He's typically, you know, methodical, goal oriented, and that's what slowed him down. Being so goal oriented or thinking about himself, you see how close this Pentacle is to his face. He can see what the prize was. I got the Ten of Pentacles out here as well, which tells me, you know, abundance and luxury and money and longevity. So I don't know what he thinks, but I see the bling bling fl flashing around here. Now let's talk about the hangman in reverse. There's a lot of stress out here. King of Cups. It's stressful because he didn't use his heart space initially when he should have. You know, we got the Queen of Cups out here. We got the King of Cups out here. You use your heart space. You wanted to offer love. You wanted to be of grace. But he wanted to ma manipulate and lie to himself. <laughs> is what I'm getting with the King of Cups out here in reverse. He wanted to act like he didn't have a heart. And look where that got him, in the hang man in reverse. Now he's stressing out. You know, he knew what he was supposed to do. He was enlightened to it, because my hangman is an enlightened being. Let's talk about it some more. Strength card out here. Now, now he has to have patience, or now he's learned, and I'm also seeing maturity out here with this strength card out here. Um, I typically don't get maturity with the strength card, but um, I see he wants to do better for himself or herself. Let's talk about this Empress out here. Six of Cups out here in reverse. Now, he suspects that you don't trust him. And I also see that you guys used to have playtime activity or you guys just trusted each other or you trusted him. And it was really playful. You like to, you know, you guys got along really well, but he still treated you like a bitch with this Empress out here in reverse. I'm hearing, how dare you, you know? And now you don't trust him or he doesn't trust... Well, he trusts you. That's not the issue. You don't trust him. Let's talk about this queen of cups leading with your heart space. Hierophant out here, they see you being a leader, being a boss, telling people and showing people the way with the Hierophant out here, being of grace, okay? The Hierophant is known to look after people, um, be discerning, and to be open and... I'm hearing um, offer solutions. Let's talk about this cherry card in reverse. Six of swords in reverse. Now they're in a turbulent state and they also want to come back. This is more energy of them wanting to come back when they ventured off. They deserted you is what I'm seeing here. They thought it was better elsewhere, you know, and now they want to come back because when they ventured out, they didn't see better. <laughs> Let's talk about the five of swords out here, enemies. Full car. They were listening to foolish people. They were listening to dumb people, stupid people. You know, this dog is intuition. This dog is saying, hey, you know there's a cliff right here, right? And he didn't want to start a new beginning. He didn't want to listen to his intuition. He mislabeled his enemy with the five of swords in reverse. You know? His enemy called you the fool. Go figure. And he listened. So now he's looking at them like a fool. And now they made him look like a fool. You know, see how it perpetuates? Let's talk about the Knight of Wands out here. Three of Swords out here apply. Now, Three of Swords is all about an infliction to your heart space. I feel like they trampled all over your heart, to be honest with you, because that's what Spirit is showing me, this horse trampling over this heart space and betraying you. That's what the Three of Swords is, getting in your heart space and doing ill intent. You know, you can't betray someone unless that you get in their heart space, and that's exactly what they did. They trampled all over your heart. But I still see they want to, you know, rise to the occasion. And if they could avoid that heart space, guys, see this horse six feet in the air, they want to now. It's funny. You know, they have to undo what they did with the Three of Swords upright and in reversal. Let's talk about the Three of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords out here again in reverse. Um, I also, Spirit wants me to count out. Hold on, hold on, please this we have the two swords out here in reverse and now we have the four swords in reverse they don't have peace because they're fully aware that they have to mend this heart space that they broke that they inflicted and it's not right they have to put in some work they have to confess their feelings <laughs> okay i still see enemies out here they didn't want to recognize who was really breaking your heart or their heart that's all i got for you power one Please check out Pop 2 is what I'm hearing. Um, but I hope this resonated for you. I hope this brings you comfort, I guess. I don't know. I don't think you need it because you know what grace is about. 
okay? So please like, share, and subscribe. Love you. What's up, Cinnamon Stick? Welcome to your yeah, reading. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get in. Holy Spirit, Great Spirit, what's going on? Pile two, please and thank you. This might be your second reading because I have two duplicates out here. You might want to go check out Pile one if you have not already, but welcome, Pile two. Peace. What's going on, Pile two, Great Spirit? Knight of Pentacles out here. Immediately when I flip this card over, I feel like money is going real slow for you and your concern, but we're starting off upright. Things may be going slow, but all is not lost and everything is not bad, okay? Things are just going slow. I read uprights, reversals, I count my cards, and I take notice of the first card and the last card. Things may be going slow, like I said before, but things are moving gradually, okay? I see this turtle out here, and you wish things were faster, but it's not faster, and you just have to go with the flow, okay? We're talking about money today, <laughs> is what I see here. Page of Cups out here in reverse. Now, I feel like somebody is very emotional and throwing a temper tantrum or crying a lot is what I'm getting with this Page of Cups out here in reverse. I feel like you guys just need to get a grip is what I'm hearing. Sorry, guys, but I have a page out here and I have a night, and this is both y'all energy. I feel like y'all are digressing emotionally. You guys need to get a grip, like I mentioned before. Um, life is not all about money and what you have, and Spirit is telling me that you have enough. Things are just moving slow. And you don't like how slow things are moving. And Spirit is reminding me that he's talking to me, too. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Spirit. Um, but we need to take a chill pill. We need to relax. And we need to find something to do with our time. Because this page could um, come with consequences in reverse. So let's see what else we got. We got the four wands out here upright. This is all about celebration. But I'm hearing another person out here i don't know what's going on another person is going to come into your life and i feel like it's romantic to be honest with you and i'm not you know pushing this on you but i see romance with the four wands four wands is typically twin flame vibes i feel like you're going to have help financially and i feel like a lot of you guys might be stressing about home spaces because that's what the four of wands is a home space where you live and celebration i feel like another person is going to help you with you know a situation that you're going through so you don't have to go through it alone and that's probably why you're so emotional that's why you need to get a grip because you feel alone is what I see here. But you're about to have somebody that helps you, help you rise above, you know, your circumstances. That's what I see here with this read. What else you got? Three of Swords. Y'all are taking things so personal, but you don't have to take it so personally. The Three of Swords are all about an affliction to your heart space, suffering, heartache. Did I mention heartache? But um, I feel like y'all are really down and out right now and taking it personal and mad at life and mad at yourself and mad at the wrong people. But I feel like good news is coming your way. You just have to be more patient with that turtle out here, okay? With this three swords in reverse tells me you don't have to suffer so much, okay? Find something to do. Relax a little bit, you know? It's a process is what I keep hearing. What else you got? have the seven of cups and that's all about options you have things to do you just ain't doing it you know the seven of cups comes with a lot of wondering and processing literally 
and waiting and you guys need to find something to do with your time you have a, unlimited is what i'm hearing things to do you can do x y z a b and c but you are just out here wondering and crying and down and out when you can do something with that time okay because this is a lot of wasted time with the seven of cups and spirit is telling me to tell you guys i got the six of cups out here upright which is another card that resembles the four of wands being able to trust someone else and i feel like somebody is coming your way that's going to alleviate the pain channel message what else we got what else we got we got the page of wands out here upright now this is two different individuals I don't know who this person is to you, but I see there could have been a spat. Whenever I have two pages out here, they're supposed to be friends, but we have somebody that you're not happy with or they're not happy with you, but I feel like that's gonna be the person that's gonna help you out. I got the five of wands out here upright, which tells me you view them as an enemy with the five of wands or you guys were really hostile towards one another when you last we're together because the five of wands a lot of drama a lot of conflict and a lot of arguing and bickering so i feel like you got another person that's going to help you reach the top help you pay or you know fix whatever you're stressing about but you need to forgive is what i'm getting with the five of wands and these two pages out here upright well one upright and one in reverse okay let's continue on have the four of swords out here upright it makes sense to me as a reader because the four of swords is all about rest recuperation finding peace okay so when things get start, started to get hard you need to find your peace i got the ace of swords out here upright which tells me this resonates for you guys i'm speaking the truth out here um when you start feeling the tears well up in your eyes find something to do change your mind space change that that cloud that follows you if it's following you run go take a run outside go outside for a walk go take a bath it's so many things <laughs> so many things you can do that you know of but you don't do it you just wallow in the sorrow you let that cloud just rain down on you okay it's time to pick up an umbrella ella ella hey hey sorry <laughs> Let's talk about this uh, last card, ending your reading with the Nine of Pentacles out here. And let me remind you, I read the first card and the last card. I got the Ten of Pentacles out here, which means you're stressing that money's going slow. You're stressing about bills and paying things on time. And you're alone right now because my nines are all about what one person endures alone. But you're about to have somebody alleviate the pain. I see a pill right here, a Tylenol. Somebody needs a Tylenol right now because they're stressing out so much that they have a headache. Okay? You're about to have more than enough with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is all about luxurious abundance. But you're about to be have abundance and another person supporting. So congratulations. Don't let the stress override you. Don't let it overwhelm you. Some My Nine of Pentacles out here is not bad in reverse. My Nine of Pentacles is a single person that can do bad by herself because she has more than enough. But my Nine of Pentacles in reverse, that's sharing. You know, sharing with another person. And I feel like another person wants to share with you. Somebody wants to reheat a loving offer. I feel like they poured out love, but now they want your forgiveness. They want your grace. And they want to reheat something. Take what resonates, though. Spirit is telling me with this tower card in reverse, y'all are being a bit dramatic. You haven't faced a crisis yet because the tower card is all about a crisis and emergency. You haven't even faced the flames yet. You're stressing out in your mind space. You're building sandcastles in the sky. That's not even here yet. Yet. <laughs> you know? That card out here. Negativity and toxicity follows you and fear is what I'm getting, but you got to transform. Maybe something is about to end or something has ended. But you have to transform past the misery and the fear. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit wants me to use this deck. Can I get closing remarks for this pile, please? And thank you, y'all. I'm hearing get into it, y'all. I'm hearing Doja. Doja Cat. Let's talk about this Knight of Pentacles, slow moving money. Seven of Pentacles out here. You guys are too focused on money when you could sneak off and do something else. This is what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. Now, typically, the Seven of Swords is, oh, I hope y'all are not thinking about stealing from somebody or, you know, doing some fraudulent-ass shit because the Seven of Swords is thievery. 
But that's just for somebody out there. I know I wouldn't dare, you know, steal from somebody because that's karma for your ass. So you better slow your fucking roll. Excuse my language. I don't even mean to curse. But I got to get somebody's attention before they go down the wrong path. I'm going to pause for them. It ain't, it ain't worth, you know, robbing somebody else for their happiness. Okay? Because that's called karma. Okay? So you need to find something to do. And that's the last thing you should even think about. That's just for somebody out there. Let's talk about the page of cups out here in reverse. Knight of Pentacles is out here again, upright. I feel like you guys need to mature and I'm here and grow up a little bit and get a grip. Still is out here. I put these two cards together. This is both your energy out here. Y'all are too grown to be, you know, whining is what I'm getting with this page of cups out here in reverse. Okay? So calm yourself. You know, reassess the situation with the Knight of Pentacles out here upright. Let's talk about the Four of Wands out here. Four of Cups. Spirit is telling me this is a person that you're not happy with, but you have to be open-minded with the Four of Cups because the Four of Cups is stubborn energy. Somebody's trying to give you a message, and I feel like you probably even know who this person is, but you have to forgive them, and I feel like they're going to help you. Um, but the Fours are all about stability and being grounded. So I feel like somebody can offer help because I see help out here. Whether you accept it or not is entirely up to you. Let's talk about the three of uh, swords out here. The full card out here. Go outside. Go find something to do. Walk your dog. Go for a walk by yourself. Take your kids out for a walk is what I'm hearing. You know, there's so many, so many things that you can do. Get some fresh air is what I see. You can do, you'd be surprised how going for a walk can alleviate your pain. Okay, but spirits tell me there's not enough pain in the world for you to be stressing out. You're just being a bit, you know, unrealistic. Let's talk about the seven of cups out here. Options, seven of pentacles. You're letting things uh, collect dust is what I'm getting with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Seven of pentacles in reverse is wasting time. You know, just looking at things growing stale, you know. When you can be getting better, you can be growing at something. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're supposed to be at the top right now, but you're still, like, you know, lollygagging. Let's talk about this page of wands. This is somebody else. Strength card out here. <laughs> and they do have Leo placements because I have a fire sign and I have Leo energy out here. If somebody wants to be by your side, somebody wants an intimate relationship with you, whether you want it or not, but they will come and be of assistance with the strength card out here, upright. Let's talk about this four of swords out here. Peace. Peace of mind. Nine of swords. You have a choice. These are This is a 180 out here. You can be at peace or you can be in anxiety and stress. You know, this is the same bedtime activity. Spirit sees you crying in bed. Spirit sees you, you know, down and out. And I'm not taking away the pain. Well, I'm trying to take away the pain. But I'm trying to open your eyes. You have, you know, you're blinded to the options. You're blinded to, you know, you don't have to suffer so much with this this hoe having her hands over her eyes and her face. I don't mean to call y'all a hoe, but that's just her. It's either you suffer or you don't, and you find your peace. You make your choice. Twos are all about choices, and we got two people in bed right now. Oh, channel message. I see pleasure out here for you guys, but you have to see things for what it is. Let's talk about the nine of pentacles out here. Higher fine out here in reverse. I see some of you guys are either not working right now or your job, because the Hierophant is all about job and looking after people. And I feel like you need more hours or you need more money because of a job or you don't have a job. Don't know what it is, but I see you have to rely on other people, okay? You have to learn to share. Like I said earlier, it's more than one person out here. Guys, that's been your reading. Please like, share, subscribe. I know you can get through it. Cause I go through the same ish, okay, y'all. I'm giving you hugs if you don't want it from the other person, but you need to be open minded, give them a chance, listen to them, you know, don't be so defensive. Peace, love you.
What's up, Bailey? How you doing? What's up? What's up? What's up, baby? Let's talk about it. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on, pal? Reads. We want to know. Okay. So, this might be your third reading. I, you guys have extra, extra cards. Um, you might want to go to PAL 2, definitely, because we have three duplicates. So, this might be your third reading, but you definitely want to go check out PAL 2, because we have three duplicates. Great Spirit, what's going on, PAL 3? Oh, somebody's coming back. I, this is not your energy. <laughs> this is not your energy. I typically tap in with my, my second card, but Spirit told me flat out, this is somebody wants to come back to you. They should have never left. Is what I'm hearing. The Eight of Cups is all about leaving everything behind. And I see them down and out and sorry that they left. They haven't said sorry yet. But they want to come back. I'm hearing, baby, come back. Uh, what's going on here? Two of Pentacles. This is all about going from one point to another. And I read uprights, reversals, a comic card, and I take notes of the first card, last card. They are living in an inner unbalance because they left your side. Is what I'm getting with this Eight of Cups out here. So now they want to come back. They want to go from one point to another. Okay. I'm, I just heard awesome. I don't know if you're happy about it. Maybe you are. Magician out here. And I'm in this reading too. Somebody's coming back to me. Hey. I feel like I got a cross watch out there. So please bypass my inner intertwined energy, please. But somebody's going to pop up. I'm hearing Cardi B. Guess who? Pop up. Bitch. <laughs> Something like that. I don't even know the song like that. But... Press, 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 press. Cardi don't need no press. <laughs> okay. Magician is out here. They're going to pop up on you. Okay? But I feel like there's excitement out here because a magician captivates people. Magician holds people's attention. Press, 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 press. Oh, this is a karmic masculine. And it could be a woman or a man. It doesn't matter if it's a man out here. This is somebody that carries masculine energy. Somebody that's prideful. Somebody that is a bit greedy. And this is a karmic mask when somebody that thinks the show is all about them is what I'm getting out here, okay? So they thought they were the prize. They thought they were the man or they were the woman. You know, they thought they had, they were the one. You were supposed to come to me. I'm not coming to you is what I'm getting with this emperor out here in reverse. You know, this emperor is supposed to be a leader. And I feel like they didn't want to lead with you, but now they do. That's why they walked away. Like I said before, I read reversals and uprights. They walked away because they thought they were the, the shit. Pretty much. But they want to come back. Is what I'm getting. What else we got? Hermit card out here. I, I see that they have matured. The hermit card is all about maturity. An older person. So you might see this person and they might not look familiar to you. Is what I'm getting with the hermit card. Um, there's been a shift out here. Is what I'm seeing with the two of pentacles and this hermit card out here. You remember them much younger than what they are now. Is what I'm getting here. But with that, you know, the 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 maturity comes with, you know, a mature type of thinking as well. What else we got? Seven of Wands out here. You might be on the defense because this is y'all energy out here saying, uh-uh, don't come back. I don't want to hear that shit. Um, excuse my language. I don't even mean to curse, but I'm channeling y'all energy out here. Seven of Wands is being defensive, creating boundaries. And I feel like, you know, I'm hearing they made their bed and now sleep in it. But there's a butt out here, y'all. Spirit doesn't want you to go about it so defensively. Okay. What else you got? Ace of Swords out here. Don't be like them. Don't ignore your intuition because that's what they did. They knew what it was. They they didn't. They were too prideful to listen to their intuition. The Ace of Swords are all about truth, clarity, intuition. They didn't want to speak their truth. They didn't want to follow their intuition. So don't be like them because you know this should have happened a long time ago. But what I'm hearing is God don't make no mistakes, and His timing is always perfect. You know this person needed to grow up. And this person had to learn the hard way. That's what I'm getting. Press, 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 press. I don't know why that song is still in my head. Knight of Rods out here. And I also have the Eight of Wands out here. Now, Spirit's showing me y'all want to be on the defense. Eight of Wands is all about communication and travel. They want to have a conversation, but Spirit is afraid that y'all are going to be way too defensive. I have two defensive individuals out here. And we're talking about the Eight of Wands. Okay, so you need to slow your roll because typically you see the Knight of Rods six feet in the air, ready to go off to battle. But you need to slow down and just listen. He's just listening. He's just sightseeing. And that's unlike him. Okay? Ending this reading with 
the King of Cups out here in reverse. It makes sense. Somebody did not want to use their heart space with the King of Cups. They recognized they should have used their heart space a long time ago. You know, to have two kings or one king and an emperor in reverse tells me they felt entitled. Like I said before, they thought they were the shit. You know, the emperor in all this royalty in reverse is entitled and, um, what's the other word? Entitled and, um, they, they have high expectations, I guess. I don't know. That's not the word I was looking for, but that's all I got. <laughs> I feel like y'all know who I'm talking about. The two of swords in reverse for me is being fully aware. Spirit, do you want me to use this one? Yes. I feel like y'all try to use your heart space with this individual, but this person like was like, no, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to use my heart space with her. She's not my counterpart. Or he's not my counterpart. And they left you emotional, left you crying a river. That's why you're so defensive. Spirit doesn't want me to use this set. Spirit wants me to use this deck. Which is odd, because what I'm getting with the devil card is the devil's all about sex, drugs, addictions, bad behavior. And I feel like they had to cut a lot of things out of their life, whether it be any of those things, sex, drugs, addictions, bad behavior. And I feel like they had, they, they told the devil that, that he was a liar. Some of them, their health has deteriorated and now they want to do better. Now they want to grow. Okay. Great spirit, let's talk about it some. High priestess out here. I feel like y'all are very intuitive as well. I could be talking to other high priestess out there. So hello, greetings. <laughs> oh, wait, somebody want to drop off some D or some sexual energy? You know, it doesn't have to be a penis out here. I do see a penis often when I see the ace of wands, but it's just sexual energy, passion, or high sex drive. It could be a woman out here. You know, just with the ace of wands, she can have a dildo. <laughs> Great spirit, what's going on? Please and thank you. Oh, two cards for the emperor in reverse. I like starting off my duplicates. Let's talk about this emperor in reverse. Prideful. Page of swords. Now, for my high priests out there, I'm seeing a spy. Because I have to read this upright and reverse. So somebody watch you boss up. Somebody watch you, you know, leave them in your dust. And you do good for yourself. But I feel like they want to come back. They spy your content. They study your content. You know. That's what I'm getting. What else we got? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yikes. We got a karmic out here. A karmic is an individual that's toxic. That takes something that doesn't belong to them. That you have to learn that it doesn't serve your highest being. Okay, and I feel like they recognize that they were better than this karmic, but they were shacking up with a karmic or with a person that was toxic. And they recognize, you know what? I can't be like you. I got to do better for myself is what I'm hearing. Let's talk about the Eight of Cups. They want to come back. Eight of Swords out here. Oh, but what I see here with the Eight of Swords is you want to prosecute them. You want to persecute them. You want to put them in the same place that they put you with the Eight of Swords, but you gotta take off the blindfold. You have to recognize that spirit's timing is spirit's timing. It's not your timing, okay? Things happen, had to happen the way they happen for people to mature and grow and be serious, okay? They left because they wanted to be free. Maybe some of you guys wanted to be clingy is what I see here, or you know, you just wanted things your way and it's all about what spirit's way. You gotta let go and let God. Let's talk about the two of pentacles going from one point to another. Ten of wands out here in reverse. What I'm getting with the ten of wands in reverse is you don't want to be someone else's relief when they left you with a lot of responsibility and living in an inner unbalance. I'm here to hope they don't play that shit because now I'm seeing a sock and a ball right here. If you are familiar with, you know, homie from In Living Color. But um, things don't have to be as stressful. Things don't have to be a burden for either one of you is what I'm getting with the two of pentacles out here. But you want to prosecute. You want to persecute is what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's talk about the magician over here. Upright. Somebody want to pop up. 
moon card in reverse. It makes sense for me. My moon card in reverse is a spotlight, you know? So I feel like they have been watching you for a long time, watching your show, watching what you do, watching your posts, whatever it is. But they, they watch you. I feel like this person was a bit of a narc with the magician out here in reverse and the moon card out here. This is a lot of shadow and darkness out here. And I feel like, you know what, you don't, you be, you don't want to become boo-boo the fool is what I'm getting here. But I feel like that's just not the case. Okay? Let's talk about the hermit card, grown up. Two of Pentacles out here in reverse. They have grown up and they have realized that their decisions didn't get them far. It's been okay with the two pinkles out here in reverse. They are living in an inner imbalance. And it took them to grow older to see that. Let's talk about the seven of wands being defensive. Ace of Cups. Don't be defensive to a heart space or a new beginning. You know, I feel like this person really wants to use their heart space fully. And I'm even seeing this, this water or this liquid overflow. They want to do more than use their heart space. They want to make up for the lo lost time is what I'm hearing. They want to make up for the past is what I'm hearing. But here you are, blocking it out, saying, uh-uh, pause. Don't do that, <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Ace of Swords in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse is an insecure person. Interesting. I don't know who's insecure out here. I feel like they are the insecure ones that had a recognized... Okay, this is how narcissism works, <laughs> okay? One-on-one. Narcissist is nothing but an insecure person that has to have grander illusions of themselves in order to make themselves feel better. But at the end of the day, they were just this insecure person. So they felt like, you know what? I'm worthy of more because I never felt good enough. If that makes any sense at all, okay? But they had to recognize the truth that they were good enough the entire time and they were just being childish. Let's talk about the Knight of Raws out here world card in reverse now if you guys are on defense it will cause a lot of chaos a lot of arguing is what i see here with the world card it will be world war fucking three out here excuse my language okay good but i see world war three and it's not supposed to be world war three okay what i'm getting with the world card being in reverse is the world card is all about successful completion all is not lost this the story is not done this is just another chapter that's why the world card is in reverse but here you guys are ready to, you know, create World War Three. It's not worthy of it. It's time to hear this person out and not be so defensive. Let's talk about this King of Cups in reverse. He didn't use his heart space before, but he wants to use it now. The Three of Wands is all about seizing opportunities and acting. The Two of Wands is all about planning. He didn't thought long and hard about you and how he's going to rectify the situation. And now he wants to do something. Okay. He missed his opportunity to use his heart space the first time. But like I said before, spirit's timing is always perfect. Okay? So so what if you miss it the first time? That was supposed to happen. Guys, that's your message. That's your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you. Unclench your jaw. <laughs> Be open-minded. Get ready to, you know, listen to this person for what he has to say. At least. Press, 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 press. I just hope it's not one person. <laughs> it's one person. But I might go talk about it. Must be that whip to that order. 
What's up, Carter Lucy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Spirit is telling me you might want to go to Power 3. I don't know why, but check it out, please. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on, Power 4? What's going on? Oh, you might also want to go to Power 2 as well. Okay, because I have two duplicates. What's going on, Power 4, Great Spirit? Eight of Pentacles. Let's talk about work and being efficient. Um, I tapped in with my second card, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, I see spirit is pleased at the job that you're doing. You know, this is good uprights to have. I feel like you're efficient. You get the job and the task done. And I feel like it fulfills you and it fulfills spirit. Okay, because I see spirit out here with this rainbow out here. So congratulations. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep bringing people together. I feel like your energy is healing with the Ten of Cups out here upright. But here you are just whistling while you work. You don't see the effects that you do or behind the scenes, but I feel like you're good is what I'm getting with these uprights out here. So keep doing it. What else we got? Spirit wants to talk about what you're doing. Look at you being graceful, being nurturing, being practical with the, the Queen of Pentacles out here. Now I have the Nine of Pentacles. I have a reward out here. The Nine of Pentacles is all about abundance, luxury, having more than enough. Spirit wants to bless you because you've been whistling while you're working, because you've been so efficient, because you've been a grace. You guys are making me have chills right now because I'm tapping into y'all energy. I kind of well, want to well up with tears because I feel like you're, you're really selfless with the Ten of Cups. You use your heart space. <sighs> Give me a second, y'all. There's not enough people out here like y'all. It's not enough... Con compassionate people it's not enough considerate people and that just warms my heart and I see the holiday season out here I feel like you make people's day when it gets cold you know what I mean like everyone's not having a good day and I feel like you brighten up their day give me a second Everyone's not used to people like y'all, and that's how necessary you are, okay? You do little things that just brighten people's day. Sometimes people go through it. Sometimes, sometimes people need people like you to really uplift them, and y'all are doing it, or whatever you're doing. I feel like I don't know what it is that you do, but you get them out of a tough effing situation. When I start cursing, I mean that shit. <laughs> shit my bad. I don't mean to curse. Let's continue on because I don't want to be emotional. I feel like when it comes to you guys, you don't see the effects. I feel like you guys are just doing your responsibility is what I'm getting here with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a lot of responsibility, but I see behind the scenes with the Ten of, the ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands. You make, you make people happy, you uplift them, but you don't see all that you're doing. Okay, because typically the Ten of Wands is blinded to, you know, what's in front of him. So I don't feel like you guys know exactly how far you get people. So I feel like this is your chance to really see the work that you're doing and how you get people past their turbulent situations, past their burdens, past their emotional overwhelming moments. That's what I mean. But I see a lot of overwhelming energy out here. So some people could be overwhelmed in the current state, but you uplift them. You tell them, hey, keep going with the Ten of Wands out here. It's going to end soon. You're doing a great job. You pat them on the back. Da, 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 da. I don't know if you heard that. I'm, I'm shook up right now. Because like I said, there's not enough considerate people out there. There's not enough compassionate people out there. I need you. Spirit needs you. Give me a second. Emperor out here. Y'all some bosses. And it don't matter if this is a woman or a man. Y'all just take leadership well. You show people where to go and how to go and how to move. How to boss the fuck up. I said it that time. I'm sorry. But this eagle out here, I feel like you pinpoint certain areas of their life that they need to work on, and they do. And they are able to soar and fly. Did you ever know that you're my hero? You are the wind beneath my wings. Sorry. <laughs> we have nothing but uprights. This is a great reading to read. I'm getting chills again. Six of Cups out here in reverse. What I'm getting with the Six of Cups out here in reverse is y'all didn't have that when y'all were younger. And it's hard for y'all to trust other individuals. It's also what I'm getting with the Six of Cups out here in reverse. Like when y'all were younger, you were mistreated, you were scolded, 
people probably didn't tell you they were proud of you. And now we're talking about your family out here. Because I see the toxic motherfuckers. Excuse my language. But I don't appreciate them. And probably you don't either. But I feel like somebody never supported you, never told you that they were proud of you, never used their heart space or their emotions. But here you are excelling and going past that shit. I'm cursing again. And I mean, I hope this reaches you because you done touched me. Unlike the Michael Jackson way, okay? And a lot of you guys were molested and you still were able to surpass this shit. See, that's what that's what that's the difference. Hurt people hurt people. Some people bottle up that hurt and pain and they don't know how to process that and they take it personally and they get mad at God. But y'all didn't do that. Y'all say, you know what, I'm better than them. I'm better than the circumstance. I'm not gonna let them weigh me down. I gotta, this is a reading that I gotta wait on. Like, I, I, I never get this shook up. But y'all energy is just so, it's not overwhelming to me. It's just an inspiration to me. Because a lot of people can't do that. I, like I said before, hurt people hurt people. And because they were hurt, they didn't know how to move past the hurt. They didn't know how to evolve and say, you know what, that happened to me. I can make sure it doesn't happen to nobody else. Let's continue on. Knight of Pentacles out here in reverse. Talks about being scared, being stuck, being defenseless is what I'm getting out here. And y'all were defenseless. But I feel like now y'all are fully equipped is what I'm getting here. And y'all showing people the way. You were saying, you know what, you this is you and this is the people that you help, the people that you guide, the younger generation out here. Okay, you didn't take what your family did to you and you didn't take it personally. Now, you could have you very well could have, but you didn't is what I'm getting here with these reversals out here. You could have been scared. You could have said, you know what, I, I don't have it in me, but you moved past it. Let's continue on. Ending this reading with the Queen of Cups out here upright. The Queen of Cups leads with her heart space. Okay, she's nurturing, she's of grace, she's supportive emotionally. And I feel like I got a crosswalk out there for me personally. I think my mom is out there because my mother, she never healed her heart space. She was bitter. She was cold. I don't know what her story was because she never really opened up. You know, that's her story. But I see y'all out here being nurturing of grace. And I'm not going to talk too much about what she went through because she's going to have to learn her situation herself. I got the four cups out here in reverse, so I know I got a cross out. The four cups of being aware instead of being closed off and bitter. You know what I mean? You know, I, I don't mean to call people bitter because I know their feelings are valid, but you gotta grow up eventually. You gotta take a stand eventually. You can't stay in that stuck position. You can't blame God. We here on this earthly plane to do better. We're blessed to have an opportunity to do better. And you want to sit up here and be mad at God? You're learning on what? That's just for my cross watcher. I know y'all are doing what y'all do. I'm going to make it do what it do, baby, with this magician out here. Now, Spirit is telling me I got to watch my mouth. I don't have to be so harsh with the snake out here biting his tail okay because that's spirit's job spirit is the only one who has vengeance okay we're supposed to be kind to one another we're supposed to be using our heart space with one another not punishing the next generation not punishing others not expecting so much so i need to i need to calm down a little bit give me one second because it got a little hot when i realized i had a cross watch out there some people are not going to treat you fairly, and that's okay. That don't make you the bad guy. Great Spirit, please forgive me. That's all I ask. Please forgive me. Great Spirit, can I get closing remarks for this last call, please and thank you? Okay, so we have multiple cards with the Queen of Cups out here. We out here, huh? 
We got three cards. You might want to go to pile three like I mentioned before. Um, let's talk about this Queen of Cups out here. Y'all are using your heart space. Queen of Swords in reverse. Meanwhile, you were dealing with a person that didn't use their heart space. Somebody that was bitter. Somebody that was cold. Somebody that was nasty and rude. That's what the Queen of Swords is in reverse. You know, she she's cold hearted. And I'm not calling certain people cold hearted, but you got to look yourself in the mirror. What else we got? Queen of Cups in reverse. You had a choice out here. You had a choice. Well, whoever. I mean, maybe y'all had some toxic parents yourself. I don't know. I know I'm not the only one in this world that goes through shit. Nine of Pentacles out here. Upright. I see earthly plane out here. I see reincarnation, to be honest with you. You're going to have to learn that lesson over and over again on this worldly plane instead of meeting paradise. And still, instead of not suffering on this world, we got so much war and, and fighting and arguing in this world. And keep in mind, the world is encompassing of heaven and hell, okay? Just like we have it on the other side. But to have to do it all over again and learn again, it's not going to be fun because you're going to take this energy with you. And you're going to have to learn from it. Let's talk about this Eight of Pentacles. Y'all are doing well. Two of Swords out here. We share the same story is what I'm getting here with the Two of Swords. You're fully aware of this energy. Okay? You didn't let, let you didn't become closed off with your heart space with the Two of Swords out here. You open up. I'm going to continue on though because I'm not dwelling. Y'all know, y'all know if this is for you. Let's talk about the Ten of Cups. High priestess. The high priestess of service. She goes from, you often see the black and the white behind her. And that's what Spirit's showing me. Y'all learn from your past mistakes and now you're doing the work that needs to be done. The upliftment, the encouragement, the support, the love. It's the holiday season. Y'all are acting like Santa Claus out this bitch. I see Santa Claus out here. Y'all are bossing up using your heart space showing people how to use their heart space making this world a better place i feel like i'm talking to other high priestess other tarot readers other intuitive individuals i feel like y'all know how to open yourself up know how to be decent human beings at the very least let's talk about this queen of cups out here i mean queen of pentacles queen of grace seven of swords out here Seven of Swords in reverse is all about calling people out, okay? I feel like sometimes we got to call people out when we don't want to. This is a karmic out here. Sometimes you have to skirt past toxic individuals, okay? And you got to call them out and say, you know what? I'm not like you. I don't have to be like you. I'm, I'm going to go my own way. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm not going to perpetuate the pain. See, that's where they fucked up. Let's talk about the Ten of Wands out here upright. Eight of Cups in Reverse. This is all about coming back. Spirit has a message for somebody's mama out there. They're going to have to come back and do it all over again. And it's going to be overwhelming and it's going to be a burden. And they're going to have to get through it. I see reincarnation all over again. They're coming back. They're going to pass away and they're going to be reborn again. And they're going to be like, damn, I'm back Oh, no. I got to do it all over again. And let me tell you, it's going to be harder. You accumulate energy and accumulate. Let's talk about this, this emperor out here. Two of Cups out here. The emperor uses his heart space. He, the emperor sees people eye to eye with the Two of Cups. The emperor, you see the black and white pillars out here again? The emperor was not the same person from his past life. He became of light. Or y'all became of light. Y'all are showing people the way, like I said before. And guess what they're going to have to do? The toxic ones. Let's talk about the Six of Cups out here in reverse. Lover's card in reverse. Y'all didn't have love. Y'all didn't have support. Y'all didn't have a parent with an open heart. You had a fucking narcissist. You had a person that always thought you were supposed to serve them. They all, all they thought about was a lover or having someone of their own. They didn't think about their children or responsibilities. Y'all were a gift to your parents, but they didn't recognize it. Because they went through what they went through, you were supposed to suffer too. 
Let's talk about the Knight of, of Pentacles. That didn't get them far. That idea did not get them far. But they're going to learn. Knight of Wands out here. It's a battle royale out here. It's a battle royale, but you didn't think it, would go, it was going to go down like this, did you? And that's just for my cross watch out there. I feel like y'all are going against the negativity and you're beating their ass. That's all I'm going to say. You know, you know right from wrong. And then they're going to, there's conflict out here. They're going to be happy. They're going to be met with so much conflict because that's all they manifested. You you go through what you put people through. And that's how I'm going to end it. I love you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.